CIT group officials spent the weekend trying to find a way out of a liquidity crunch. The 100-year-old lender trying to get the FDIC to help. Lizzie O'Leary is joining me now from Washington with more on why the banking regulators so far are not willing to give a helping hand. Lizzie? Well, Mike, what we're talking about is the temporary liquidity guarantee. That's the FDIC program that helps companies sell debt with FDIC backing. The FDIC worries that a guarantee could put taxpayer money at risk because CIT's credit quality is worsening. That's according to people familiar with the regulators thinking. CIT's stock and bonds have fallen, stock falling 59% this year. CIT has hired Skadden Arps as an advisor, but a person familiar with the government's thinking says no final decision has been made. In a statement Friday, the company said it was in active dialogue with the government after it applied for that debt guarantee back in January. Spokesman for both the FDIC and the company declined to formally comment. So what factors does the U.S. use to evaluate this request? Well, there are basically three. One, is this company systemic? What would their failure precipitate? Two, is this a liquidity issue? And three, would a failure have a major impact on the economy? When you look at it through this lens, CIT doesn't meet the bar yet. Even though Bloomberg has seen internal documents that says CIT collapse would uh, really spell a failure for a potential 300,000 retailers. So the government right now feels there are other avenues out there for the company to survive. But uh, we're watching this one closely, Deirdre. Lizzie, thank you very much. Lizzie O'Leary there from Washington, D.C.